Um, we've actually seen a 75% increase in the um, um, news coming from authoritative sources since the beginning of 2020. Um, so we've seen a, a lot of demand there. Um, but then we also. What does that mean? That means an increase in, in video views for those? Yeah. And so we talk about that as raising authoritative information. Um, but then we also talk about um, removing information that is problematic. You know, of course, anything that is medically unsubstantiated to so people saying, like, take vitamin C, um, you know, um, take turmeric, like, those are all will cure you. Um, those are the examples of things that would be a violation of our policy. Um, anything that would go against World Health Organization recommendations would be a violation of our policy. And so remove is another really important part of our policy. So you're not just putting the truth next to the lie. You're taking the lie down. That's a pretty aggressive approach. Well, uh, I mean, we do we do remove, um, you know, across um, YouTube in non pandemic times um, information that is a violation of our policy. And we've had community guidelines since the very beginning of YouTube. And we've always um, anything that is a violation of our policy, we do remove it. Um, and what was really unique about um, about this was just how fast moving the COVID-19 crisis was. And so we've had to make numerous policy changes all within a really short period of time to be able to make sure that we stayed abreast of the changes. So, um, for example, just recently, there was um, a theory that um, 5G was causing coronavirus symptoms. Um, now, no um, established health organization says that 5G is the source of the issue. Um, and so that um, quickly, we quickly deemed that a violation of our policies uh, with um, COVID-19 and remove that content.